Okay, everybody, let's settle down. We're finally here. This is the first day of our student teacher assignment, or what I like to call, Welcome to My Hell. There's only one appropriate thing for me to do. I'm going over my mama's. That's the stop sign. You probably won't stop the car, correct? Might want to stop, probably won't stop the car. I would uh, really like to say what an honor it is to be here, and I can't tell you how much I truly, really do appreciate the job. Look, why don't you just save the syrup for your pancakes? <laughs> what? Well, now, you would think with those big old ears you could hear. <laughs> Did we date? First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Hightower, and I'm your new music teacher. And I'm your art teacher. <laughs> and I'm your drama teacher. Where's Mr. Seeger? Yeah. How come you teaching all those subjects? Mm -hmm. And why do we gotta take this class anyway? Yeah. I don't know. I was set up, and I don't know. Well, looky here, Radio Raheem. <laughs> Class started five minutes ago. Yo, I'm Romeo, I got to make an entrance. Nice suit, come with an eight track. <laughs> nice pants, Biggie Small, have a garage sale. I'm sorry, but until Henrietta brings her grades up, she just can't play on this team. You have not heard the last of me, little mister. <laughs> Lady. This high school football. Now, what you gonna do, sue us? Well, thanks for the idea, pal. <laughs> Steve, I don't think that's how Regina would have handled that. Say, man, Regina ain't here. I'm the principal now. The superintendent's called five times, and somebody's been dipping in the petty cash. What am I supposed to do about gas money? V, please, don't even talk to me about money. I just sat to a three-hour budget meeting with a bunch of people nickeling and diming over the cost of some pencils. I'm a teacher wearing $500 suits. What the hell do I know about budgeting? <laughs> Doug, thanks to you and your big mouth, I just got served with a subpoena. If Henrietta doesn't play, her mother's gonna sue the school. We can't afford it. Just my luck. Crazy lady, only one in this whole school listen to what I say. This is more fun than watching a lunar eclipse, which, by the way, we're not having another until 2022. <laughs> Isn't he dreamy? <laughs> Boss lady, um, we know how you feel about prom, so we just wanted to let you know we're here for you. Here, brought you a nice plate of shrikin, a couple of dipping sauces. Try the tartar cue. <laughs> hey, when you're done with those refreshments, Big Daddy gonna take you out on that dance floor for a little speed. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And you know what? This prom is different because this time I have all of my friends around me. Everybody, can I have your attention, please? I'd like to make a special presentation. Please put your hands together and show your love for our first annual faculty prom queen, your own principal, Regina Greer. Come up there, boss baby. Come up. I don't know, guys. This is silly. No. What's silly is you acting like you don't want that tiara. You get up there. You you go. Go. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. This is so sweet of you. Well, I wanted you to have one good prom number. So uh, what do you say after this we kind of drive up to the lake and watch the sun come up? Only if you promise not to be the perfect gentleman. <laughs> you better know I promise. 
Good afternoon. This is your principal, Miss Greer. It is my pleasure to announce this year's Teacher of the Year, Coach Cedric Robinson. I got to go rub this in Mr. Maj's face. You see, just because he donated a little bone marrow and saved this kid's life, thought he was a shoe-in. Robe. <laughs> My dear colleague, this is not a choir robe. This is the attire of higher academia. Harvard, Yale, Oxford. <laughs> yeah, well, you teach at Booker T, but you look like you're about to sing back up for the mighty clouds of joy. <laughs> so, you got something for me under that robe, Teddy C? <laughs> if you are implying some kind of sexually deviant behavior, I don't believe now is the proper time nor place. What? See, I, I knew something was wrong when he started putting his fried bologna on a croissant. Cedric, we made up the rule to let you win. That's right, man. The only reason you won is because I dropped out. Now, that's not true. Let the children speak the truth. We stuffed the ballot box, coach. We wanted you to win. Yeah, until you started acting all big-headed like Puff Daddy. <laughs> Now stuff that in your pipe, nutty professor. <laughs> well, in light of this unforeseen development, there's only one appropriate thing for me to do. I'm going over my mama's. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's settle down. We're finally here. This is the first day of our student teacher assignment or what I like to call, Welcome to My Hell. Well, I would like to begin today's lecture with the help of my two teaching assistants. Ladies. Okay, hey, you know, those girls don't even go to this school. And this whole thing is very sexist. If the girls are gonna show that much skin, then Romeo should too, right? I was going to end my lesson on nudity in music by oiling my chest. But maybe we should start with that. The 60s were a time of turmoil in our great land, marked by a war, social unrest, and the loss of some of our country's greatest leaders. And now, here are some popular 60s dances. <laughs> I didn't really prepare anything. Yeah, I know. That's why Ray gave you an F. Wait, that's not fair. He didn't do anything, and he got an F. I bought chicken heads. I should at least get an F plus. Fine. Yes. You know, I didn't prepare anything, because after watching everybody try and do what Mr. Hightower does, I realized that none of us even come close. He works really hard at coming up with innovative lesson plans. And I think that we take him for granted. And there is no way that any of us could ever outshine Mr. Hightower. Because Mr. Hightower is the greatest teacher ever. Wow. It's <clears throat> excellent, bullet head. You get an A. <laughs> Yeah, but look, Bullethead did something better than that. Bullethead taught this entire class the value of sucking up to the proper person. I'm Max Sundance. <laughs> and uh, I'm Steve Hightower. I'm your new director. Oh. Yeah, I cannot wait to create magic on the stage. You see, uh, theater is my life. Yeah, come on. Let me show you to our facility. Thank you. Regina, what a theater.
Oh, my God. It's him. Look at him. He's a young god with brilliance just aching to get out. Any brilliance he had died of loneliness a long time ago. You are LaShawn just as I envisioned him. I want you to be in my play. <coughs> Great! Is there any nudity? Because I can show you my chest right now. Get off her, boy. Don't be hugging him. This is a teenage boy. He gets excited when he reaches in his pocket for change. Learning to drive is essential to a young man's self-esteem. Look, Hightower, now I hate to give up on kids, but sometimes you got to thin the herd. Wait a minute, Regina, come on. Now these boys have dreams. Now how they gonna ever grow up to be top flight pizza delivery guys without a driver's license? All right, all right. But I'm holding you personally responsible for the both of them. Okay, now, Romeo, before we get started, always think safety first, okay? Now, what's the first thing you should do? <sighs> hey, I never drive without the Virgin Mother and my player's theme music. <laughs> Boy, this ain't your Uncle Ernesto's lowrider. <laughs> Wait a minute, listen, we will not be blaring any loud... Uh... Wait a minute. Is that one of my old high top cuts? Yes, I thought you'd like it. <laughs> well, crank it up, bullet head. for your gum-sucking granddaddy. I'm, I'm driving. I'm really driving. Are you call five miles an hour driving? <laughs> Mr. Hightower, why don't I hop out and tell that snail to stop cutting us off? <laughs> Fools keep clowning me. They ain't got no business clowning me. Coretta got it hard enough as it is. Coretta, listen, just ignore them. Believe me, in a few years, you'll be telling them you want $5 on pump number eight and some corn nuts. Okay, Coretta, there's a, there's a stop sign coming up. There's a stop sign coming right up right there, right? That's the stop sign. You probably want to stop the car, Coretta. Might want to stop, probably want to stop the car! 